everyone, this is Ivory Tickler, and today I would like to start a new series called Tiny Things, in which I will be building tiny structures in Minecraft. Today I want to show you how to build a tiny chapel. The way you start out is by placing seven blocks in one direction with cracked stone bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then just fill that in. And then counting from the starting block, go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. So seven blocks in one direction, eight block counting the starting block in the other direction. And then just connect the sides together. So now you have a big rectangle. And on one of the shorter sides here, we're going to call that the front. So I'm just going to put a block there so we remember what that is. And then that will be the back there of the chapel. And the reason I'm putting these blocks around is just to give it a nice little um, border slash sidewalk thing. So the next uh, block we're going to be building with is polished diorite. So just place one, two, three, like that, like a backwards L shape, and one, two, three, like that, and that's going to be the doorway in the front. Just go to the back and do the very same thing. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you can go to the next layer and do the same thing there. So as you can see, the inside of the chapel is going to be pretty small. And then fill in the sides here. Just connect that up. And the same on this side. So then the next block we're going to be using is white wool. So if you go to the front here, just place one on the corner there. One on the corner there. Three across the top of the doorway here. And then one on top. And then we're going to be doing the basically exact same shape on the back here. One on the corner, one on the corner, one, two, three, one on top. Then we're just going to be doing filling uh, the sides, except we're going to leave one space here on the left hand side of the building, um, two blocks from the front, and that's going to be for a window. And on the other side, just connect it up again. And on the inside of the building, you're going to want to make the same shape. Just like that. Now the next block that we're going to be using is polished andesite. This is going to give a really good contrast to the white here. So just place um, polished andesite here, and then here, 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 and one on top. And then you can just do the exact same thing on the other side of the building. So the next thing that we're going to do is just keep placing andesite and just place it all across the wool here on this side. And it frames in the window there. Then just do the exact same thing on the other side. So now we have a full row. And now we can start on the roof. So for the roof, just do um, stone brick stairs, and you can place a row of them right across the andesite that we just placed. 
and just keep placing rows of stairs. Oops. And then place one more row here. When you get to this block here, instead of placing a stair, just place a slab. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So now we have a mostly finished roof. We're just gonna start placing some more um, texture blocks here and we need to finish up the top here as well. So on this first block here, you're just gonna wanna get a glowstone and place it right there. Next, we're just gonna want to place um, stairs on three sides of this glowstone, so just place one there, one in the front, and then one on the other side. Then you can place one on top, and then underneath this first stair, just place a stair upside down. The next thing we're going to do is make a cross. It's going to be ridiculously huge so that it um, really contrasts the tiny size of the building. So how we're going to make the cross is just place on the bottom of the glowstone here one slab like that so it's just slightly above the stairs on either side. We're going to be placing 13 of these blocks total. So that's going to be the two that we already placed plus 11 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then just count two slabs down, so that's one, two. Then on the third one, put one slab and one below that. On the other side, just do the exact same thing. So now we have a humongous cross on our little chapel. To finish up the roof, we're just going to do slabs across the top. And then on the back here, you can just put a stair right where the polished andesite is. So that just gives it a little more texture. The next thing we're going to do is just make the inside look a little better, especially up near the ceiling. So then just place polished andesite here and here, and then place a polished diorite across the top like this. And then we're just going to place stone brick stairs upside down here, here, there, well not that way, that way, and then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So now the ceiling has a little bit more texture and a little more contrast. So then we can also just go ahead and fill these two blocks with polished diorite. And then the next thing we're going to do is fill in the floor. So just take out all these grass blocks here and then just fill it up with dark oak planks. The reason I use dark oak here is because it makes such a nice contrast with the white of the building. Also you're gonna probably want some kind of platform back here so I just used dark oak slabs there. Then we're probably gonna want some kind of pews or chairs. So I used uh, oak stairs for this. You could probably use something else if you wanted to, but place them there and there. The next thing we're going to want to do is make some kind of lighting for the back here. 
So what I'm going to do is make a redstone lamp because I think it looks kind of like stained glass and that's really appropriate for a church. So just place it right there and then we'll go to the back and do all the electrical stuff, which is going to be really easy. Now all you're going to want to do is grab a wooden trapdoor and then just place one there and shift click to get another one there then just delete that one then you can place a lever right there and when you turn it on the trap door should shut so that's the way it, it'll look when it's shut and that's kind of like an access panel back here so back to the inside of the church you can see it's now well lit up I think we still need a kind of pulpit so I'm gonna put that there and it kind of looks like a stand of some sort and then just grab from your decoration blocks here white stained glass for the window and the reason I'm doing that is because it kind of blocks out distractions but still lets in light so and then for the door we're gonna use a dark oak door you could use a different door if you want to but that's just the door that I chose to use because I think it looks nice. So the inside is pretty much complete. The only thing left is if you wanted to do like bushes and stuff. I'm going to make a banner here, but that's, that's our last thing. So, so the way I decided to make the banner is just try to make a cross shape and you can do a lot of different stuff here um, you could make any kind of banner you wanted but I decided to start out with a red banner you just put it in the bottom left corner here and then use orange dye to make a cross like that or whatever color you want really and then I did gray dye cross on top of that, light gray dye actually. Just place your banner right there and voila, you're done. I obviously added bushes to the sides here and other plants, but you could add anything you want really. Well, thanks for watching my tiny things video and if you liked it, hit the like button and then if you really liked it, Please just